And let's talk about one more mistake. It's the final one on my list, but my list is not the exhausting list. Number seven, at least this is what I see a lot and this is what I want to bring your attention to so that if you need to deliver presentations in the English language, you avoid making those mistakes and you know the exercises to combat them or the exercises that you can do to help yourself build new neural pathways and new positive experience. Number seven is interstate. The mistake is that people do not invest their time in learning to manage their inner state. They learn the text of their presentation. They want to learn better English, even though their English skills are already very strong and very good. But they spend more time improving their pronunciation, learning new words, learning new grammar, and they absolutely do not put any effort in managing their inner state. But that is the most important thing when you present, especially when you present in second language. Because look, it's a fact. Everyone is anxious. Everyone is nervous when they have to present, even in their first language. But if you need to communicate with clarity, if you need to deliver powerful ideas in your second language, you know, if you already are doing this, you know how much work it takes and you know how much time and effort it requires. It's not about words, it's not about grammar. Yes, it is about practicing the language, but it is mostly and most importantly about you. You are the message when you talk. Your inner state will define how people will feel around you if you present to them in one room. And even if you present online, your inner state defines how people feel about watching your video, if they're watching an online presentation, if they're watching a video presentation. Your inner state defines if people want and feel like working with you. And your charisma is not what you think about yourself. It's not about radiating confidence. It's not about that. Charisma is how other people feel when you're around. How do they feel in your presence? Or how do they feel when they listen to you? Most people do not ask themselves this question. They only care about delivering a beautiful presentation. They only care about saying the right thing. But what we really want to care about is how we actually understood. Is our message received on the other end? And do people get what it is that we're saying? Managing your inner state means you want to practice that inner confidence. I share a lot of exercises with people who take my public speaking course and who take the listening course and everybody who works with me. It's not something that I can teach you in a video, but I feel that I need to bring up the importance of this issue. Inner confidence can be built and it should be built. It's not something that happens to you. It's not something that miraculously happens. It's something that you are responsible for. You have to build it. And confidence always comes from competence. So you want to know that if you have done something many, many times, you can do it again, no problem, anytime, in any conditions. And this is what gives you confidence. So there are a lot of exercises to make sure that your energy is stable, it's not all over the place. And I'm not talking about meditation practices because meditation practices usually, well, at least the way people use them, people use them to relax and to expand their consciousness. God knows where, they don't really know what they're doing. They just want to relax and forget about all the negative emotions or they want to suppress the negative emotions. They want to suppress their anxiety and pretend they're not anxious. This is not what I mean when I say you gotta work on your inner state. When you work on your inner state, everything becomes one. The way you feel on a physical level, the way your energy flows, your energy is stable, it's not all over the place, you are not all over the place. The right words always come. You don't need to learn every word of your text. You don't need to worry that you will forget the next important thing to say. You don't need to worry that you don't know how to connect the ideas in your big presentation. You know and you're very certain that the words will come. I always trust this. I never write down every word of my presentation, especially when I do a YouTube video or when I speak to people, because I know that the words will come. I know what I want to say. I know what message I want to deliver and the right words will always come if I am in the right state. But you have to think about combining many things, your physical state, your mental state, 
your energy, everything becomes one because you are one. And only from that state we can talk about delivering good and confident presentations. If you're trying to hide from people the way you really feel, it's not going to work. Everybody's going to feel and everybody's going to see how you really feel. We all know this feeling when kind of you, you feel like you can tick all the boxes and the person is saying all the right things, but the whole message just feels like you don't really know. Feels either flaky or just off or you're not really sure what is wrong, but you feel that something is wrong. People can feel so many things. They cannot always articulate what it is that they're feeling and why they're feeling this way, but they always feel a lot of things. And this is what we want to learn to do too. To learn how we make other people feel when we talk. To learn what we feel and what to name those things. And we want to learn to understand people so that we can deliver ideas to them in their language. And we can do it only from a very confident and balanced inner state. I hope it makes sense. I hope you will deliver amazing presentations in the English language and you will avoid making all those mistakes and hopefully you have learned something from this video. If you got an insight into some idea after watching this video or maybe if you have more tips to share with those people who present a lot in their second language, please share your ideas in the comments below this video and let's talk about it because if there is a way to help one another deliver better presentations in English, Let's use the opportunity to talk.